Some Bay Area students say their high school has become a hostile learning environment. They say they're harassed in the hallways and administrators aren't doing anything about it. New at 6, KPX 5's Don Lin says now the feds are getting involved, but even that may not help. Don? That's right. The students accused the district of not doing enough to stop and prevent sexual harassment on campus. And as you mentioned, on top of that, they say the district is stopping them from talking to federal investigators who are here looking into those allegations. Sexual harassment is everywhere at Berkeley High. Like, do you see students being catcalled all the time? Just talking about how you have a nice butt, get that a lot, like, nice booty girl. Unwanted, like, people, like, slapping a girl's butt's like in the hallway. They say the harassment isn't just a Berkeley High problem, it's a district-wide problem. I was sexually assaulted by several boys on the school campus. Freshman Katie Thomason says that happened at a Berkeley middle school and feels Berkeley Unified has done little to stop and prevent sexual harassment. In fact, back in October, some boys at Berkeley High were caught using Instagram to harass female students. There was what's called a slut page where they would post photos of girls you know, drunk at parties, looking unflattering, and would write really offensive things about the girl's sexual habits, even if they were not true at all. After getting complaints from parents, the Office for Civil Rights came to Berkeley High last week to investigate the district's harassment policies. But many people claim the district stopped investigators from talking to the students. They say the district told federal investigators students would need parental consent and it would interfere with learning. To like accurately investigate them, they need to be able to talk to all the people who are affected by it. How do I feel? I feel heartbroken. I feel, I feel devastated. I feel devastated for the girls who've had the experiences over and over and over again. Parents and students hope the feds will force the district to do more in preventing sexual harassment on campus. To make it so that students are supported when they're reporting, to make it so that students and teachers get education around what sexual harassment is and how to prevent it. Some parents and students have also formed a support group. It's called the Berkeley High School Stop Harassing Group. We reached out to the Berkeley Unified School District. Uh, they declined to talk on camera, but say they are assisting the federal investigators. Live at Berkeley High School, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5. This is the second sexual harassment investigation by the federal government at Berkeley High in five years. In 2010, the feds opened an investigation after a 16-year-old girl sued her counselor.